What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Hybrid Network trailer breakdown. This time, our first official look at James Cameron's latest project, Alita Battle Angel. This film has been one that we here at HN have been waiting to hear about for some time, specifically because we thought it was an interesting choice of project for James Cameron, but also just because of the weight his name carries in Hollywood. I mean, the man owns the two highest grossing films of all time, so you could say he knows a thing or two about how to make big movies. This one is no exception, although this time it's actually not an original creation. Instead, Cameron and director Robert Rodriguez are adapting the manga and OVA Battle Angel Alita, or Ganmu, a, a movie that Cameron's actually been developing since the year 2000. The series is set in the 26th century, and we assume the movie will as well, and is largely centered around a city known as the Scrapyard, called that because it literally rose up from around a junkyard below the floating city of Tiferous, a literally segmented caste system not unlike Neil Blomkamp's Elysium. The trailer opens with Alita, played by Rosa Salazar, reawakening with cybermedic Dr. Dyson Ido, played by Christoph Waltz, and Nurse Gehard, playing by Hidara Victor, looking on. And it's revealed that, as in the original manga, Ido found her torso and head in a junkyard, reconstructing her. Ido as a character in the manga in OVA was more than he seemed on the face of it. He was exiled from Tiferous and was a cybermedic by day, but a hunter-warrior or bounty hunter by night, a career that Alita eventually joins him in for a time. And we're not sure whether or not that's going to be the case here, but I don't see why not. I think Christoph Waltz definitely could carry that part of the role. We've seen him do it before in movies like, uh, specifically, uh, Django Unchained. This would not be out of the realm of possibility for him. The first thing that a lot of people will notice is that, yes, Alita is CGI, and it's not the best CGI face you've ever seen, probably. Some call it smack dab in the middle of the uncanny valley, and as I've seen some outlets note, I mean, that kind of seems to be the point of it. A, a built-in commentary about robotics and AI approaching near human levels, but not quite reaching that, that human status, and it's also an effort, it looks to me at least, to make her look as much like the original version of Alita from the manga and OVA as possible. It's a testament to James Cameron and his legacy that the movie's cast is literally bonkers. I mean, the film is stuffed to the gills with acting talent, and I kind of wonder how they're going to let everybody shine or how everybody's going to be used in the movie, so let's run through some of the actors that we see in the trailer right here. While we don't see all of the film stars in this trailer, we do see a few of them throughout this short teaser, most notably Francis himself, Ed Skrine, as as Zapan, one of the series' biggest antagonists, a hunter-warrior himself who was a central antagonist for Alita for a long time in the manga. He's one of two physical threats we see in the trailer, getting slammed through a table by Alita after trying to grab her, but the other threat is a little more interesting as it's this massive hulking cyborg who shoots chains for arms. Now, I've slowed the trailer down, I grabbed the best freeze frame that I possibly could, and I'm still not sure who this person is supposed to be exactly. Uh, we do know that Jack Earl Haley is set to play a villain in the film, but we don't see him in the trailer, and his listing on the film's IMDb page remains blank. Another major character in the film that we see in the trailer is Hugo, a human who shows Alita the ropes in the scrapyard and teaches her how to play motorball, the series' iconic gladiatorial sport, which is going to play a large role in the film, as James Cameron was reportedly dead set on bringing it to life, with producer John Landau describing it as a gladiator match mixed with an Indy 500 race. Mahershala Ali is set to play two roles in the movie, but in the trailer we see him as Vector, a human businessman heavily invested in the motorball scene, specifically with an interest in rigging matches, but his other role, much like Jackie Earl Haley's, is a mystery. Jennifer Connelly also appears in this trailer as Cheetah, a former partner of Dr. Ido, who was also exiled from Tiferous and clamors to return, but we're not sure exactly what role beyond that she'll play in the story, so we'll just have to wait and see. Overall, to me, the movie seems to be a pretty loose adaptation of the original Battle Angel Alita storyline specifically the earliest chapters of her story. And James Cameron and John Landau have both said that's for the presence of Motorball, which I said Cameron definitely directly wanted to adapt. Uh, but also they just feel that's the most interesting part of her whole... Her, her many, many different stories over the years. We'll just have to wait and see how faithful the adaptation really is, as the trailer was really just a snippet, a sneak peek into that larger world, and leaves us with way more questions than answers. Either way, the film is set to hit theaters on July 20th, 2018, so we'll know more in a few months at the latest. Let us know what you thought in the comment section down below, but that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw, subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For even more content, check out our website at hybridnetworkyt.com, and if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ. Signing off, this is CJ.